Here I'm going to go through a Liebenser question from 2020. It's on redox chemistry, which is reduction and oxidation. It came up in question 10, part B, which has been the case in the past few years that it's come up in the shorter question. So a 25 mark question rather than 50 mark. It starts off in the same way as they usually do, defining oxidation in terms of electron transfer and change in oxidation number. So as long as you can remember the oil rig mnemonic for electron transfer, where oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. So in terms of electron transfer, we're talking about oxidation is loss of electrons. Now, in terms of change in oxidation number, oxidation number is a number that's given to an element in a compound that indicates the number of electrons it uses to bond. So in terms of oxidation then, whenever you have an increase in oxidation number, then you have oxidation. So here, oxidation is an increase in oxidation number. So the next part of the question, we've got a balanced equation. We're asked to assign oxidation numbers and determine which element is reduced in the reaction. So I'm just going to write that out again, which you would be doing in your script anyway. So we have lithium carbide plus cobalt oxide forming carbon and this compound. When we're assigning oxidation numbers, go through the video on assigning the oxidation number. There's several rules that we need to use. So to start with, here we have each lithium in this, because lithium is group one metal. It'll always give away one electron. Its oxidation number is always going to be plus one. What that means for the carbon is, because there's six carbons and it's the only other element, I'm going to have to give it an oxidation number of minus one sixth. The cobalt oxide, well, oxygen here won't change, it will be minus two. And the cobalt, therefore, as there's two oxygens, the cobalt has to be plus four. Carbon is an element, so that's going to be zero. And back to this compound then, oxygen again will be minus two. There are two of them, so that brings it to minus four. The lithium we know is going to be plus one, it's not going to change. So if each oxygen is minus two, there's two of them, that's minus four, and lithium is plus one, the cobalt has to be plus three. So it says to assign oxidation numbers and determine which element is reduced. So how we do that is we're gonna just draw an arrow. We can look at lithium is plus one and it goes to plus one, so nothing happens there. Carbon here is minus one sixth, and it's going up to zero. So that's an increase in oxidation number. The carbon has been oxidized. Cobalt has gone from plus four down to plus three. So straight away, I can see that that's a decrease in oxidation number. So the cobalt has been reduced there. Identify which element acts as the oxidizing agent. So the element that acts as the oxidizing agent is the element that causes the other element to be oxidized. Well, we know that carbon has been oxidized, nothing has happened to the lithium, and the cobalt has been reduced. So the oxidizing agent is the cobalt, technically in cobalt oxide there but it says to state the element there. Using oxidation numbers or otherwise, balance the following redox reaction. Okay, so again, I'm gonna write that out in full. We have lead and lead oxide plus the hydrogen ion forming lead ions and water. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through, just like the video I put up on the website or MC Study, 
I'm going to assign each element the oxi its oxidation number. So here we have an element, so that's going to be zero. Here we've got minus two for the oxygen. There's two of them, so this must be plus four. That's going to be plus one because the hydrogen ion is the charge in the ion, which is plus one. Lead, the lead ion is two plus, so that's going to be plus two. Oxygen here is going to be minus two, and hydrogen is going to be plus one. So it says just to balance the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the half equations. Okay. They are the equations involving the electron. So straight away, I know that here, that's oxidation. And here, the lead has been reduced. Now, so we're going to write out the half equation. So we start with the oxidation reaction. So Pb forming Pb2+. Plus. Okay, so it's oxidation as there's an increase in oxidation number. Now we go back to our mnemonic at the start, which is oil rig. We know that oxidation is loss of electrons. So here, this lead must have lost electrons. There's two electrons because there's a change in oxidation number, plus two. So I could say minus two electrons here, but by convention, we just always write it plus two electrons. Instead of writing minus two electrons on the left, I'm going to write plus two electrons on the right. Now, that is the half equation for the oxidation reaction. And for the reduction reaction, the half equation will be lead oxide, PbO2, going to Pb2+. How we're going to assign this, we're going to start with seeing how many electrons are involved. Again, it's, there's one lead on each side of the equation, so it's going to be Pb, going to Pb, we know there's two electrons on this reduction. Well, according to the mnemonic, reduction is gain of electrons, so that's this species is gaining two electrons. Why? Because there's a change in two electrons from plus four to plus two. Now, the leads are balanced, the electrons are, are balanced, but because there's two oxygens here, whenever we're balancing half equations, it's certainly in acidic conditions, Unless it says it's alkaline conditions, we add, instead of having oxygen, we add water. So there's going to be H2O, and there's two oxygens, so we're going to add two of those. Now, there's two waters there, so I had to add four hydrogens over to this side. And they're going to be hydrogen ions, and we can see anyway in the, in the question, there's hydrogen ion placed, but you'll usually have that. Normally what I'd do now is I'd, I'd go to my simultaneous equations in maths and I'd, I'd balance the number of electrons when I'm adding the two reactions together. I'd make sure there's the same number of electrons on the reactants as there are on the products. But there's two electrons here and there's two electrons here. So straight away when I add those together, I would have two electrons in my reactants and I would have two electrons in my product. And the same reason for is if there was elements present or atoms present and there was the same number of me on either side, I just wouldn't include them. So what I'm going to do is when adding this together, this becomes Pb, which is there, plus PbO2, which is there. I'm not going to include the electrons because they will cancel out over here, plus 4H+. Plus. Now my arrow, and I'm just going to write in my products, Pb2+, plus, plus well, there's two PV2 pluses plus two H2O. So that is my balanced equation. Now, why is the recycling of batteries desirable? Well, essentially that's because you've got, in batteries you generally have heavy metals like lead or cobalt or anything like that. Um, so we want to avoid pollution by throwing them away. Also, which is better for the environment, um, we also have quite a limited supply of those elements. So we we essentially want to reuse them if we can. And that is that question done.